If everyone's made to believe that having blonde hair and blue eyes is what's most beautiful, why would anyone want to see anything else? And what kind of confusion would that cause for anyone that doesn't fit the mold? When I was a little girl, I always wanted to be white. My mom has blonde hair and really light fair skin, and I don't look anything like her, so I grew up thinking I was adopted. We decided that we each have different, uh, even though we're coming back from the same heritage, the same background, we have different views. So for example, I am light-skinned uh, and denying the native inside of me. So that's one portraying is um, I just look white, want to be white, pretend I'm white. I was at a soccer tournament one time and this girl walked by. My sister was like, oh, she's a red apple. I asked her, what is a red apple? She told me, red Indian on the outside and white on the inside. So I thought to myself, maybe I was a red apple. Does this video that you're doing speak to people of color, native people? It speaks to, to internal insecurities due to um, external racism and stereotypes. I was ashamed to be associated with First Nations people because of the stereotypes of drunk bums, welfare bums, um, alcoholics, all that stuff. Um, and I said that I wasn't that. And since I wasn't that, I wasn't Native. Where we learn a lot of the things that hurt us is through media, so to have a voice um, using media is a closer step to confronting the issues that you have. Don't go there. You'll never find your size. Ah, uh, another Asian driver. They only cater to Asians. It's because of all those Asians coming here that I can't afford to buy a house. They only cater to Asians. Ah, uh, another Don't go Asian there. driver. You'll never it's because find of all those size. Asians coming here that I can This is an Asian invasion. You think it doesn't hurt me when you blast other Asians? So what's it like playing a racist bully, Michelle? This is very hard. What's so hard about it? Being racist. I don't like it. It sucks. It sucks. It's terrible. I know what it feels like, and I don't like doing it. What exactly do you have to do in the video? I just pretend that I'm some jerk who doesn't know any better. I mean, people have all, everyone's done the, the bad, the cool person who does it just because they think it's cool, but it really screws people up, big time. The reason I want to make this video is, uh, it's actually a story about my dad. Um, I think it happens probably sometime in the 1960s in rural Manitoba. Daddy, dad, he cried the count of murder, suicide was high. <laughs> and so Free. low, low, Free. low, low, Free. low Free. the souls Free. they cried. Yeah! It's sick! Dad, no, Faggot. no, in the Vivian snow. Kike. From six feet below that cold Vivian. In Canada now, there's this belief that it's, you know, it's a mosaic and it's multicultural and we don't discriminate here, but that's not the case and it never has been. And um, this, this thing that happened to my dad, I mean, this stuff still goes on all the time. And like, it's that kind of history just isn't recorded. It's not talked about. 
And just because you don't notice something is missing from history books doesn't mean it's not important. In fact, one of the most intense forms of privilege is the luxury of being ignorant or not having to notice. Makes you feel like they don't, they don't know what's happening, like with the whole situation, like with the residential schools and stuff. I feel that like maybe they should know a little bit more about that, because this is the country that natives are from. They say Canada is the best country in the world to live in. For whom? The negative effects of colonization have been multi-generational. Our education levels are well below the Canadian average. Our average annual income is the least of all Canadians. Native people's life expectancy is the lowest in all of Canada. Is Canada really the best country in the world to live in? For, For whom? whom? I think it's hard for most of us to admit that we're racist because it then requires us to do something about it. But it also hurts a lot to think that just because I was born white, I have power over people of color and natives, and that I've probably used it and abused it without even realizing. It feels like we've been doing anti-racism work forever, but the shit is still out there, and we just need to deal with it. The most important thing is to keep talking, and one way of doing that is through media. If you can't make a video, you can put together a magazine, write lyrics, whatever, but you gotta take advantage of any resources you have. If you never talk about how you got followed in a store by a security guard, chances are you'll think it only happened to you, or that it was your fault. We found that the more we talked to each other, the more we were able to understand how racism works. And you need to know how it works in order to have a chance at dismantling it. I'm worth the air that I breathe and the mark that I leave. But I get frazzled by the dazzle of the height. Even though I'm skinny, I'm still pretty sexy. Girls come and check me, think I'm all right. Even though I don't fit into the mold that we've all been told is what you wanna be. What I wanna be, what you wanna be. The double helix, gene splice, it's like rolling the dice. Slowly they decipher the codes into digits. We're coming up with a brand new linguistic. Speaking to speak of the future, we're coming to the root of your blood history. And still, I'm worth the air that I breathe and the mark that I leave. The ground full smiles, I know what I am worth. I am worth the seasons I constantly change. I am worth sorting through as I rearrange. I am the wind that you seek solace in. I am the end as it starts to begin. I am worth the copper thrown in the name of dumb luck. I'm the melody in your head stuck. I am the mountain, go grace and the incline. I am the lateness before being on time. I am the question to my own answer. Thought not thoughts wait for the good dancer. I'm the question to my own answer. Thought not I grip the mic with no other thought than to justify To have the nerve to try to claim that when you're feeling dry I will always replenish your supply Never deny, I've come to clarify Magnify your heart before I die Learn how to fly, eyes wide, truly walking I assert that I will never be broken As we pick through the crumbs Pass around the pain, saying look inside your soul If you better maintain half of I am your reflection You are half of mine, my desire to bust you out Never to confine, but magnify and combine There is nothing to protect, only to refine And from this moment, squeeze the most life we can Out of time, out of time, out of time Bye.